Welcome World Missionary Evangelism family. It's a blessing and an honor to have you back with us. We're looking today at Isaiah 43. Now Isaiah is one of those Old Testament prophets that is constantly telling the people to come back to God. And these great men of God such as Isaiah, Ezekiel and so on were raised up by God during a time when God's people had drifted away. During the time that God's people had gone away into idolatry, into, into sin, and they had forgotten how good God had been with them. They had, forgotten, they had forgotten how God had been so merciful with them. So Isaiah is, is preaching a message of repentance. He's re preaching a message of reconciliation. He's telling the people, come back to God. And when we look at Isaiah, Isaiah's often been called the, the fifth gospel because it's so messianic in its, in its teaching, it's so messianic in its message. And so many times when we quote Isaiah, it's almost like we're quoting one of the Gospels, because Isaiah is also a witness, and a witness in the sense, not in the sense that he was one of the, the, the disciples, but in a witness in the sense of he's confirming a lot of messianic prophecies. And here in Isaiah 43, it's a very interesting chapter because God is, is speaking through Isaiah and he's telling them, remember all the things I've done for you. And he begins this by giving them confidence. He tells them in, in Isaiah 43, verse 2, he says, when you pass through the waters, uh, it will, you will not drown. You will, uh, when you pass through rivers, it will not overflow you. When you pass through the fire, you will not be burned, nor shall the flame kindle upon thee. And so he's letting them know, uh, he's giving them reassurance. Many times when we're going through a struggle or a battle or a, a difficult time in our life, we need reassurance. We need to know that God is with us. Uh, many times when we're being attacked or when we're having uh, so much things that are coming against us, uh, we need to be reminded that God is with us. A, a good reminder, uh, you know you need to wake up at a certain time in the morning and so you set an alarm. Uh, you know you need to do a, a certain, you, some people have a to-do list, so they write down what, whatever it is they need to get done. Uh, and so a reminder isn't bad. David himself said in Psalms uh, 103, he says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not any of his benefits. Because uh, human nature, uh, we have a tendency to forget. We have a tendency to not remember. And we're very forgetful. I remember when I was growing up, my mother would often tell me, yes, you forget what you, what you want to forget. <laughs> but you, you don't forget what you uh, need to do uh, or want to do. And so reminders aren't bad. And God has to give us a reminder. And here in Isaiah 43, he lets us know that he's with us. But as we continue reading the chapter, and I don't have time to read the complete chapter, but I would encourage you at home to take time to look through the entire chapter of Isaiah 43. And then when you look at it, you're going to see a list of things that he begins to mention of, of what he's done with him and how he's been with them and how he, he delivered them so many times and how he was merciful to them, and how he was compassionate to them. And, and then God uh, begins to list through Isaiah, through the prophet Isaiah, he begins to list a, a number of miracles that he did with them. And he begins to tell them about how uh, he's done great things in their lives and for them and, and for God's people. And then he tells them, uh, and I love it uh, here in, in verse... Uh, um, 11, he says, I am the Lord, and beside me there is no other Savior. I have declared, and I have sh saved thee, and I have showed thee, and you are my witnesses. This is in Isaiah uh, 43, verse 12. He tells them, you guys are witnesses. You guys saw how I, was, how I opened the Red Sea. You guys saw how I... I saved you so many times from death. Uh, you guys saw how uh, I delivered you time and time again. And so he calls them his witnesses. 
we are witnesses. Those of you who have been touched by God, those of you who have been blessed by God, we are witnesses of his grace and his mercy and his love. And so God has called us to be witnesses. That's what this this ministry is, is, is really about. It's about the, uh, being witnesses for Christ and, and showing. And when you, of course, are a witness for Christ, you also show God's love. That's why we have our, our, our feeding uh, pantries in, in, in here in West Virginia and South Texas and in other parts around the world. We're doing food for hunger because we're witnesses of God's love and his his mercy. And so Isaiah tells the people, you are my witnesses. Uh, and, and so this should be an encouragement to us because we've seen God's hand in our life. We've seen how God has helped us time and time again. We've seen how God has done great things in our life. We've seen how his mercy has been there constantly. We've seen how his, his grace has been there constantly. And I know people as a, as a pastor now for for several years. Uh, I've seen people that uh, when I look at all the the danger and all the um, difficulties they've escaped, and I said, you know, God is merciful, uh, and I can see how God has been merciful to them. And I'd kind of like to take them and show them, look how good God has been to you. Look how merciful He's been to you. And so uh, Isaiah tells us. We are his witnesses. We are his witnesses. And uh, we could go on, and as we go on in Isaiah 43, he tells the people, Behold, I'm going to do a new thing in you. I'm going to do something brand new in your life. And that's what this program is about. That's why we, we, we preach and teach God's Word, because we want God to do something. Uh, in, uh, we want God to continue to do something in your life and to continue to touch and to bless your life. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you today for our World Missionary Evangelism family. Thank you for those that are watching. Thank you for those that are, are, are constantly coming back and, and being fed through this program. Father, we just ask that you bless them, Lord, and that you be with them today, Lord. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. World Missionary Evangelism has been taking care of children. It started with just a few little orphans in India, has grown to touch thousands over the last five decades. But what does child sponsorship mean? Well, child sponsorship means that someone just like you is providing food, clothing, medical care, an education, and in many cases, a home in which to live. Imagine for a second growing up on the streets. Imagine for a second being all alone at the age of four or five. Imagine what it's like just to survive. Those we don't help often die. Some are sold into slavery, a problem that still exists in the world today. Yet through child sponsorship, there's a bridge built, a bridge from nightmares to dreams, an opportunity for that child who had no future now to be blessed with a future that lifts others up as you lifted him up. Child sponsorship is a very important part of World Missionary Evangelism's work. It's such an important part that it's really the heart of our mission, reaching out and saving lives. There are so many children right now who need to be sponsored. And if you were to step forward and take one of them under your care, you would have the knowledge in your heart and in your soul that this child felt Christ's love through your donations and gifts. Why don't you pray about and think about sponsoring a child today?